Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Teat, and it is a huge episode today. Crazy. What went down on the weekend, the first sneaker con in Australia since 2019, I believe. My first ever sneaker con. And uh, Hendo, if you're watching this doing cardio, this is going to be a long one. Let's do it. Alright, we're at the parking structure. There was like no one parking here, bro. It was like 25 bucks all day right near the event. I did post on Instagram, but uh, let's go. I think we're meeting up with some people first, but that's not for another 20 minutes. So I may just go suss out the venue first. Let's go. Waiting in line, it didn't seem like it was that big, but it actually went through an entire corridor. And then when it did actually start get going, it wasn't too bad. We were there like early before it even opened. So that's probably why it wasn't too bad. But it also gave me the opportunity to test out these little things. Case is crazy. It's all like magnetic and charges within it and everything like that but one thing I've noticed when I do these bigger events and there's a lot of music and that sort of stuff the audio can get muffled so this was a good idea to be able to test it out while we go in even though I'm testing it out by doing this I didn't play anything back so let's get into it uh, tell us what you got on feet oh the SB4 is pretty boring average it's what I wear. Boring it's just the daily. Average. Just the daily? They're just my dailies. Look, the beat. <laughs> Look at the suede. You should skate in them. I don't know how to skate. I'll last time I did that, skate. last time I did that, I hurt myself. I'll teach you how to skate if you skate in them. I'd skate in them. Already, look at them. They're already done. Uh, Andrew Salvaggi uh, from Melbourne. Uh, yeah, first time at SneakerCon. Uh, yeah, rocking the Futurist today. Just uh, got them last week and yeah, pretty cool. Nice Dropping and comfy. Early. How much did you pay? Uh, far too much to say on camera. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, don't tell my wife. <laughs> they were free, wife. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're just GRs, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, JP, Soul Kitchen, AU, Kicks and Craze, um, wearing the Michigan PEs, one at 250, basketball pair, not the football pair. So, um, got those on today. Um, thought I had to flex at least once for Jordans. Mate, it's crazy, yeah. bro. You and Jordans is different too. Yeah. Um, how much did you pay for them? Eleven <laughs> billion dollars. <laughs> Eleven billion. billion. It was uh, a bit, but um, not as expensive as you would think. So, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I'll accept that. Probably, hey, <laughs> straight away. How are you, brother? Get the camera out and everything, get and the straight camera out, away. Get the cheap parking. Get the cheap parking. Bro, where'd you go? I went to the fast one here for 20 bucks. Bro, I found one for 25 just across the road. I thought that was is it. Still a, that's still a. That's not bad. Still a in steal. Sydney, that's a steal. That's, that's the only steal. one we're getting all day. 100%. <laughs> I'll see you later. Love seeing the older Kyries. Get everything on this table. It's the Palm Furies. 36s. Get everything. I put them on top. <laughs> oh my god! And he got me looking crazy! <laughs> I was like, let's see. Yeah, oh, you know Chris. Yeah, bro. I was like, let's see how long it takes for him to work it out. 
that's gonna make great footage. <laughs> I was just holding it there for a second. I'm like, let's see, let's see, let's go closer. I'm not that goofy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's in the director's cut. <laughs> what do we got on feet? Oh shit. Crazy. Yeah. That's it. Something light, something light. Sneaker of the year at one point, so. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Like. What do we got? Some nice variety, good prices. Got a lot of stuff. Oh, Bit of everything. Crazy right now. I love seeing the variety. I much, I much prefer seeing the variety than people have the same Jordan ones, yeah. the same dunks, yeah. the same everything. What do we got? Orange lobsters. Got a blues. Puffs. is not bad. 20 bucks. Stop it. What do we got? Roshi's, Amax ones. I see a Spizak. Nothing in my size, but that 20 buck basket is crazy. That's a bargain, yeah. I've seen $50 ones, but not 20. There's a Spizak on there. Uh, they've only just started coming out again. Ah, uh, 180 forces. Why are they all such small sizes? for 20 bucks off we got stuff up top and then we've also got stuff on the ground I guess these are the steels no they're 150 on the shelf $2.50, retail, steel, underrated winner sneaker. Ooh. It's funny because Passport is literally just the same. I need that. Got the Winterize, fours, $2.50. Used, lightly used. Crazy. Two fifty, size thirteen. Two fifty, ten. Some steels. Five hundred. Used. Call it. Fubu's coming back. On first glance and lap around. Everything seems to be like at a crazy steal. Like I saw stuff for retail, I saw used pairs for like crazy prices. There was like a $50 thing, there was a $20 bin, there was a $100 thing, like absolute steals. And you'll see progressively through this event that people got some crazy deals. One side, not even fully because like I can't get to it. The crowds aren't crazy because everything's spaced out well, but like crazy enough that I can't get to everything. We got down here, we got a 
bit of everything. Let's have a look at this stuff. These are some high-end drop fronts. These here. Now, where's that? Oh, lighting. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy. That's next level. Initially, when I saw the top of it, I'm like, wait, are they climate controlled too? I was just like, this is some Iron Man stuff. Man. Man, that's impressive. What are these worth? Uh, the sign of a car, 220. Yeah, okay. How many does that get you? Uh, four. Four. It's kind of hard when you're like 200 plus pairs. <laughs> All the stuff you need, sneaker brushes, cleaning materials, shoe trees. Are we doing some live cleaning? Touching them up. Probably at home. <laughs> Should have brought some. <laughs> Actually, I might have a pair of 97s in the car. Just pulling up in a Lambo. Crazy. Plenty of kid sizes. Invest in sneakers, maybe not the best time for that. for this I did bring a bunch of pairs as like trade maybe sell and you know I was gonna sell a couple of doubles and things that you know I've, I've just held on to for a little bit long and haven't worn and see if we can get something else right I'm looking for the Futurers. I definitely want to trade my orange lobsters for the Futurers. the other thing that I want to do is the bread fours the reimagined joints, we all know. I won one raffle I went in <laughs> and yeah, shouldn't have given the RA, but that's what I'm looking for. It was the different pairs everyone opening up shop there's the poor man tables got a bit of everything
Is that a Mr. Cartoon collab? Is that a Mr. Cartoon collab? Yeah. Yeah. You never see it. Oh my god. Dash BW. Crazy. This is crazy. Look at all the pairs these boys brought. They ain't fucking around. Notepads and shit. <laughs> Oh, they're on there? 800. 750, 70. I think I can confidently say I've been around like one side and seen 90% of it. So we're going to go the other side now and see what's there. I think we got Crap Shop and maybe Vault, the Vault, Vault AU or something. Let's see. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. This is where the crowds are. I actually came in with like five other people. I have no idea where they've gone. Three feet. What's up? Hey, what up? I watch your channel, man. Oh, awesome, awesome. You'll be on it now. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Good to see you again, bro. Good to see you. Yeah, what have you been copping? You already copping? Uh, just, just some that. Yeah. Uh, got the reverse Grinches on feet. All right. Yeah. I got those. And then retail assistant, my mate, agreed to it before I actually got them. And then one of them. So now I'm looking at them. Now they're like 400 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I ain't paying Thanks that. You're here, bro. You Let's too. Have a photo. Easy, bro. Yeah. Let's do it. It is absolutely crazy, these type of events, when I'm going to them and everything. The love, you know. Sometimes it's like, people that I know and I run into, I've met before, I've spoken to, and then it's just like completely random. And, you know, someone was like saying something to me and then like two seconds after it was like, oh, it's Chris Tate. And, or Freddy, <laughs> which, you know, might have to change all that on uh, Facebook and everything. But the love was insane. Like getting asked to take photos, um, all that type of stuff. I, I really felt the love. I did. What about yourself? Uh, There's a lot in your size over the other side. Yes, a couple of years ago, the Black Off White Fives. You don't see that years. every day. That looks like my size too. No, no, it doesn't. It's a 13. It's it's your size. Yeah, my size. <laughs> um, Good porch, 100 bucks. Well, One of the stores over there had like the um, Palmino. Brand new, 250 retail. Yeah, somebody's got the, um, the up in a Frito SP size 14 like 250, which is too bad. That's not bad. This whole sneaker market crashing is good for us. <laughs> My size. Ah, oh, crazy. Sean Wertherspoons. Used? How much? That's not bad. It's all right. That's not bad. Nice. It's an older shoe now. And they do, they, they wear better. Yeah. Then you got the unions on feet too. That's it, Crazy. Yeah. I really got to talk to Facebook about this Freddy thing. <laughs> they won't let me change my name back from when I used to change it every other week for a laugh. And now I'm officially Freddy. It's either that or change my actual name. Oh, we got steels. 200, 280, although they're all kid sizes. Filmers, filming, filmers. <laughs> so, thanks, bro. <laughs> this crazy Ferrari vintage. That's insane. More TN and ASICs reselling now. Got Volt AU, one of the bigger tables for sure. 
fitter, everything. I think they've actually got them organized via size, which is smart. Yeah, what do we got? 12, 13, 14 up here, 10, 9, 11's here. I can't even get to these tables though. <laughs> There's still so many people doing stuff. Oh yeah, we got the mats. Let's have a look at these. Got him. Sean Witherspoon, Jumpman. Crazy. If you don't remember this, we did a video there. They've got one of the craziest like collections in there of like super rare sneakers. They're all owned by the owner, but crazy store. Unreleased Kobe's. Oh, the Don C's. Man. So, a couple of things happened, and the first one was Adam hit me up. I was like, yo, I'm going to buy something off your friend, but he said, I have to, like, get it on camera. It has to go on my channel. So, we did that. It's funny, like, later on, I went for a walk to the car, and you know that dude that hides money around? Kev's, like, ringing me, yo, come to my table, come to my table. And I had no idea what he was talking about until I got there, but let's check this out. So you got a... What are you looking at? Yeezy 500 tactical boots. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. Of course you I am. You would bro. wear them though. They, I would. I'd wear them to work. work. Get him all the way out there just to take a selfie. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks again. Yes, we do. Three seven. That's got to be one of the worst shoes of all time. That's a Payless shoe if it wasn't associated with Kanye. That's Payless. Wave Runners though. Do it. Buy the Payless shoe. There you are. You do it for the culture. The culture of what? Wearing a Payless shoe. Really nice. My guy Kev over here flexing, saying he needs six tables. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, before we got to your table, I told him to haggle, no matter what. I said, if you had a deal, just haggle. It'll be funny. <laughs> it was. <laughs> you want to get a New York thing? Come on, what's going on here, man? <laughs> New York is a really, is a great place. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I come. see you on forever. Hey, yo. I, I love to see you popping out. You know? It's always good to see you popping out. Yeah. You ain't seen me in a long time. You deserve, I, I deserve a present. I'll grab them for full 40 then. <laughs> what the fuck? What'd you just say? Oh, no, nah, you ain't gonna put the microphone on. <laughs> this hole needs to be cut out. Creasy. <laughs> Unfollow him if, if unsubscribe if he posts this of me talking nonsense, y'all. Nah, I'm joking. Best sneaker channel. Make sure y'all follow my man Creasy. Did y'all do your laps already? I've done a couple, yeah. Ooh, too I ain't many. seen everything yet. I'll grab them either way. Go shoot more fellas, just so y'all know. What's going on? This yeah. one, 13. Bob myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't come. I'll no, grab them. No, 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 but get a good look at these. Right? This is how you got a, choose, right? If you're going back home, if you're going back home, you got to choose. Look how flat that is. This is my guy, though. That's the reason why. Absolutely. The man works in a shoe store. We got to get you the box. I got to find you. Respect the sneaker community, you know? Sneaker pimp and fuck that. No, no, that's it. I've kept the dirty sneakers, you know? Like, I'm the man that doesn't stop the other people out looking to do. I'm still a little bit. I'm still learning these mics and there was a couple times where I did something and the receiver wasn't on or I did something I didn't turn the mic on. It is what it is. <laughs> and then there was times where like I put it on Adam and I'm talking to Lee and you can hear both conversations so. That's right. What are we what talking? How many dollar slices is he getting? <laughs> <laughs> well, Kev's hustling out here like he's on Kanasi. It depends. Someone talks three for one dollar. 
Is that American dollars or Australian dollars? Because a dollar piece is about two dollars fifty American. Shit. Oh. Five, five dollars. Five, five dollars a slice. Yeah. I better get a New York slice when you come back. You don't want the New York I'll take slice. Take you to yeah. get a New York slice. Sal's Pizza. That's They're from Queens. They're Everyone actually says from Queens. Yeah. yeah. You put those in. Let me see those again. These. You yeah. just bought them. I know. I just <laughs> I'm going to offer them double for it. Yeah. <laughs> the tactical jump. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and they got a champ here coming out, too. Yeah? Yeah. When you work, shoot. If you've got the receipt, I'll take that too so I can claim it back on tax. Oh, here we go. <laughs> for you, sure 20 I'll bucks. find it for you. I will. I'll find it for you. That's and not here, 20. but I'll find it for you. Here, Holy add whatever. Extra metal add, it's you. add whatever bank details you want, and I'll send you the money. And then just type in a thousand. He <laughs> can't transfer. <laughs> yeah, so first true matches. in there. Yeah. It. I got pay ID. First one of today. The disrespect. The bigger. The disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what you got to do for me, though. Bag them up. I need a photo. Well, I see someone coming at me wearing them. I know it's just popping. Yeah, it's on all security. Yeah. That's yeah. all they've been trying to buy them. Even That's the security from here. Security. They all. Yeah, he yeah. told me that. Now it makes sense. That's the new black forces. I'm yeah. <laughs> Lobsters, red lobsters, what the dance, yellow lobsters, Paris, Freddy Krueger, pigeons, Londons, Yeezys, everything, absolutely everything. Yo, this line is still going crazy. Like, I don't know if I can get back in if I do get out. What well, we got a line up here? What's this line up for? I don't even think I've been down this way yet. Crab shop. Right, where do I hold it? You can clip it here if you want, or it's got a magnet. Yep. Yeah. How long is this going to take? What? How long is that going to take? Uh, do you, we're just going to do a quick coin flip. Easy. You can record it if you want as well. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pull a coin flip. Yeah, pull me five. You got a coin? Yeah. Alrighty. Exactly. Alright. Alright, another coin flip. 450, 500. You gonna call it? Heads or tails? Tails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a people. I'm sucking it. Suck, Good shit, bro. So we're with the owner of the crab shop. You've actually been doing crazy things on social media. Thank you. A lot of people coming in and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. How's the event going for you? It's good, man. It's getting tiring. A lot of prep uh, involved. And just thinking about packing everything away is draining. Yeah. But we've, we've sold a, a decent amount, so I'm pretty happy with the turnout. I saw the video yesterday where you guys were setting up. So was it like a two-day setup? Two-day yeah, prep? Two day setup, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Mm. And you've obviously got the multiple stores now. Yeah. So you can go in store and trade even used pairs in the city yeah, store. That's right. Yeah. Why sell trade? So you can bring in your stuff, you can get a store credit, straight cash out. Oh yeah, you can trade in your old pairs for some new pairs, whatever you want to do. And we just saw a coin flip go down, so for the people little $50 off. How are, you, how are you going with the coin flips? Have you won any today? 
Okay, coin flips. I've won two. I've probably had about 15 coin flips. You've won two. That's yeah. not good odds. If no, I was no, you, I'm terrible. not taking any more no, coin flips. I'm trying, I'm trying to end it there. No more coin flips. Any hints to the next special guest in store? UK artist. Okay. 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 Done. What's the line up for? Uh, they're, uh, they're sell, oh, you can sell your shoes. Ah, uh, oh, okay. There's literally a line up around the corner for people to buy everything. What are they buying? We buy everything. Culture kick. These guys have the biggest line up. Crazy. Everything, but I'm seeing them saying no. So, I see a few shaking heads. What do we got? Desert elephants. This might be a place to get rid of some stuff. I'm not gonna lie, maybe later. I feel like there's a barrier for a reason, my guy. So during this time where I go to the car, I'm changing shoes, because I came in the game Royals. They're not the most comfortable shoe. So we got the Air Max 90s, the infrared, OGs, 2020 joints. They're on feet, they're a lot more comfortable to keep walking for the rest of the day. The other idea was to grab a few pairs, a little bit of variety and see what we can do. Is that a thing All right, a bit of everything. Let's see, get the hustle on. 320, yeah. So, 320 on that. Yeah, 320 on it. Let's go 330. Meet in the middle. Do you have change? I don't have any change. I'd, I'd do a bank no, transfer if you want. No, no, because I have cash, right? Okay. No, how about this? Because I have 50 cash, I get, I'll give you 300 yeah. and 30 dollars pay ID, okay? Yeah, yeah, sweet. We'll do that. Yeah. Let me check. Oh, good. You want a black light? Nice, yeah, okay. I saw you so many events. It's okay. <laughs> Customer service. <laughs> well, the White Cement 3 is my double. My Kyrie Halloweens. I'm gonna done 550 for the pair. He's gonna take him straight to the court. I love that man. It's He's a, been looking at him for two events. It's a nostalgic pair. Yeah, bro, this is like 20, 18, 20, 19. Yeah. And what's funny is like lime green's my favorite color. That's the only reason I bought them. But thank you, man. No worries. Buy them for 
it retail or resell? Nah, nah, nah. Resell, like last year. Last year? How much? You know what's the crazy part? Like for that much, that is a lot, but both of you can wear them. That's it. That's it, isn't hers there? You know what you do? You don't sell them, you get the black diamonds, and then you mismatch together. That's couples goals right there. You've got one of the best deals I've seen. The Supreme phone posits for 200 bucks. Yeah. Is it just me or are we seeing crazy prices out here? Like I'm seeing steals everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of steals. Um, some people are like asking like the world for some pairs, but yeah. there are some tables, like some real good deals. Like it's kind of crazy. I think people are just trying to get rid of their collections. And there's like- There's a lot of that. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. it seems. Have you, what do you think of the event overall? We've obviously been the kickstand event. I'm not sure if you went to Sneakerland, but like- no, I did go to Sneakerland. How do you feel it? How do you feel it like compares to everything else that's happening at the moment? I kind of feel it's like a, a good venue. Um, it's nice and close to the city. Um, like it's, it's not too too loud. Like some shows you go to, they're super loud. But I guess it would be nice to have more vendors, like people like eBay and other people here selling stuff. Too. Yeah, I thought eBay was meant to be here authenticating yeah. shoes. So yeah, I think that would have been a good idea, but I'm not sure why they didn't. Is there anything you're looking for still? Uh, not that I've seen here. I've seen other people buy pairs that I've wanted, but um, just not in your size. No, no, they bought it before oh. the show started. Some vendors oh, and stuff. So, damn. Yeah. So That's people always want some good Atmos thing. safaris and some Atmos uh, MX 95s. Oh, the crazy! Show started for real and Panda Dunks, uh, Panda Screams and stuff. Yeah. One thing I noticed was I just spoke to a reseller and he said he's trying to get rid of all his Jordans because it's all about TNs, Yeezys, and Asics now. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. I feel like lots of the stands have heaps of Jordans and like that's all they're selling and I feel like they're not selling. Nah, like they're, they're trying to get rid of their inventory for that, yeah. but it's, yeah. a, it's a great time to be a, a purchaser or a collector. 100%, yeah, it's a buyer's market, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is all the stuff that was in the cage. The, yeah. the older guy, it's his. They're yeah, his always, collection, always, yeah. yeah. If you could get any pair here, what would you get? Uh, Let's say money was no option, maybe they're off for retail, which pair? I think either the Pigeons yeah. or the Freddies. The Freddies? Yeah. The Pigeons are a classic, New York yeah. staple, Jeff staple. Yeah. The history with the fighting, the Freddy Kruegers yeah. that they never released. Yes, yeah, right. But if you have a look at that pair. Yes, semi well pairs. Yes. It's there's not, no oil stains. No, it's not. That's crazy. Yeah, and also the, the red lobsters. I know the red and the yellow are more like expensive. Yeah. I prefer the blue. Yeah, yeah, I like the blue. The blue is more wearable, the green as well. Yeah. What about the Londons? Londons are dope. Uh, I think out of all of them, I'd probably go the blue lobster. Yeah, because uh, it'd be hard to choose that. Huh? Oh man, just one? Yeah. In the candy store? Yeah, somebody over there has size 13s. Um, when the net store, he's asking 100k. 100k. Yeah. He's he's never gonna get that. Max, yeah. You know what he's doing? He's just flexing. Fishing, man. I can't believe no one's hit that $20 bin yet. No. I wish they fit. <laughs> so many pairs you never see anymore, like. Just might have to cut off like half my foot. Powder blue threes, I've always wanted them. If you have them in a 10 and a half, it's a wrap. 150, 100 bucks. Crazy. Retail. No reimagine there. Shadows. Shorts. Shadows. Oh, the chlorophylls. 
school. Probably need a 10 and a half. Although I got the big money SP dunks in 11. They fit perfect. Chants are crazy. BS Travis as well. Crazy. Couple bucks right there. <laughs> Got a good event? Yeah. Yeah. How much on the Dior's? That's crazy. That's a car right there. <laughs> Here we go, now we got some things that I'm keen on. Darcy Spiridons. Bit of everything. I love these somewhere, no, that's crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying to have a different stuff. Mate, you're doing well. Thank you. Spiridons, I really like them. Showed them the Michigan dunk, uh, the Michigan threes, they may be interested. Yeah. And then they go, yeah, all I can do is about a thousand dollars, bro. Yeah. We obviously saw him, met him for the first time in Melbourne, but he's living in Sydney now. Yeah. This is a lot closer for me too. What are you looking for? What have you bought? Have you bought anything? Have you sold anything? Yeah, look, I was part of it is looking for the vibes, right? Same as in Melbourne. It's been pretty good here today. Uh, not a lot of heat on many tables, if we're being honest. This is a great place, I think, if you missed stuff of the last couple of years and you want to pick it up, it's a great spot for that. But no uh, grails. No, not a lot of grails. I would say the, probably the two things I'll probably pick up, there's a pair of New Balance Memories that I'm working on a deal. And they have the Oregon Ducks. I gotta take a look at those. I did see them. Yeah, the Air Max Crazy. Ducks. Yeah, they're, they're willing to come down, so. And we got the What the Pauls on What feet. the Pauls, because I'm Paul. You gotta, it's the easiest way to start a conversation. How did I not even put that together? The What the Paul with yeah. Paul. As soon as uh, my buddy said that they were coming, I was like, they're like, oh, what shoe are you gonna wear? I'm like, the shoe that starts every conversation for me, right? What the Paul. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the shout out. For the Cosmonauts too. Yeah, yeah, He's wearing it too. He actually won every raffle at the TKS <laughs> event. And then I was joking with him and he goes, what size are you? Here, have this shirt. Yeah, 100%, man. I give you the shirt off my back if you needed it. You know that, right? You know that, right? Come on now. It's because you make fire content and you care about the people. I love it. I love it. That's the best promo you can ever have. I love it, man. I love it. So I'm talking to Paul. He's telling me about, you know, his Air Max and he's not sure and and he'd already was gonna buy something else and they ended up being fake and he didn't know really how to legit check an Air Max one and so I came with him and these were a pair that I was looking at but not my size he said this guy knows more about Air Max than I'll, than I'll ever know yeah. Okay. It'd be pretty hard to fake these in this amount of time. 100%. Yeah. Brand new. eBay is the best thing. Yeah. Nothing showing up on the black light. I'd say definitely they're yeah. looking. Yeah. Memories I like too. These are the maglets, right? I don't know. I'm not a, I don't. You don't mess with New Balance, I know. I do. I've never been a fan of Salehi Bembury. Really? Never. No, I like the color. I like, I like the gold. I like the color. I want the Bam Bams in the, what was it, 1990 V6? 990 V6, the Action Bronsons? Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. These are a little bit too crazy for me. These are incredible. This is, yeah. I could wear two pairs of socks what, too. What would you do for, for the two? Fighting both. That's what your brother. That's what your buddy said. I think I'm. I was coming in thinking 15 for both because this one's come down. That's the problem I'm having. I, you guys are great. Yeah, yeah, but this one exclusivity US. Not yeah. that many in Australia. Yeah, that's true. What can we do? I walk away at 16. I go 
to walk away at 16. Okay, okay. Awesome, let's do it. 16 for both. 16 for both. Both happy. Love Shake that. on it. Love Beautiful. That. Love that. That Oregon Air Max one's gonna shoot up. Like, that's an incredible pair, bro. I love the pair. No, look, I mean, it's a. Uh, look at the box. I know. love it. Ah, uh, so nice. You happy? Oh, so happy. Are you kidding? Look at this. I was a little bit sad that I was gonna walk out with nothing today because these guys have the best stuff. Yeah. But there's only like two shoes in my size. Yeah. This is a great day. If you were size nine, or size 13, this is the best day ever. I've never shit. seen so many 13s and 14s. You know, 13s and 14s. I've, I've seen more 15s JP, today. JP got the phone posits for 200 bucks. Says nobody will buy. I've it's seen insane. more 15s today than in my entire life combined. Honestly, oh, like, it's crazy. Huh? What's the best? What we got on these? 400. That's very fun. What can we do on them? Three. Sometimes when I hit record, I'm already recording. And I feel like I hit record when we started to do the deal on the Reimagine 4s and uh, I didn't. He come down to, I want to say, 350 and I feel like if I got him to 330, which wouldn't have been that much of a stretch. We'd met before at the Bankstown TN event. He'd come up to me and uh, said he liked my channel as well. Um, I should have went for it. If you're watching this right now, hit me up if you still got that 10 and a half. I'll grab him 330. <laughs> Next time I'm in Sydney or whatever. What's crazy is I was meant to get some juices for everyone like five minutes ago and then I keep running into people and like shooting content, whatever, and, like crazy moments, so hope they forgive. Tell me what you do with a black light. Well, I don't want to say for fun, mate. It's just there for a light show? Yeah, it's there for a light show. If it, uh, if it lights up, that means it's real. <laughs> Look at him, the shame. <laughs> My guy Paul almost bought those Travises on your say so. So, when Paul said he already almost bought fake Travis Scott sneakers, Adam had come to the event with this brand new black light, flashing it around, it looks a hundred times crazier than mine. Mine's just like a five, six dollar one I got from BCF. But he's like, oh, look what I got, ha ha ha. All right, so he's there when Paul is grabbing or attempting to buy these trap scots and he lights it up and goes oh look it's glowing that means they're real no it doesn't it means they're the cutout lines that the factories have done for these fakes but i gave him a lot of shit like because paul's like no your friend told me they're real that's what it means when to be real but no don't take his word for it <laughs> For we know, <laughs> for we know, his fear of gods are fake. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. What? I gave him shit. Crazy. Is there anything that you're looking out for? Uh, Jordan Pop OVOs, Jail Care Mine. I've never crazy. seen him, but. Big Drake fan? Uh, I wouldn't say Drake fan, but. Okay, more of a Kendrick fan. Kendrick, oh, mate, I'm Kendrick, Kendrick washed him? Yeah, but nice. easy, Kendrick took him. What are you seeing, like, in terms of the sneaker market? You're seeing, like, big changes, people going towards, like, ASICs, TNs, New Balance. Is that something you're noticing? Yeah, so pretty much each year Jordan has their one model that pops off, but lately a lot of TNs, ASICs, they've all been sort of spiking and everyone's sort of moved towards them, just like they did with New Balance and the Sambas. So the TNs and ASICs definitely taking a turn and I'll probably be stopping the next floor of that. 50 bucks, 100 bucks, crazy. That's crazy, 100 bucks for quantums. Yo, what size are these? 
12 and a half. So I'm on size, it's a problem. I like the music stock for a second. Yeah. I like the music stock for a second, it was gonna be great for content. Nah. I'll tell you what, if you had a table near where these guys buy everything, you don't see much traffic because everyone is there for them. People can't get through. Crazy. But what was on feet? What was the craziest stuff on feet? Let's check it out. Travises and lobsters, crazy. Oh, grail. Oh, Colombians. Meet you. Tiffany's crazy. And like comfort. Yeah, exactly. Like, see these? They probably go for like 800 now, right? They sat for a month yeah. on, on back in the day. The Paris, uh, not the Paris, what are they? The uh, Supreme Dunk. <laughs> Don't see them every day. For me, I want to say the craziest stuff on feet were people I knew. JP with the Michigan PEs, they're crazy. I love a Jordan 3, let alone a PE. They're, they're, that's some serious heat to wear considering the, the weather, right? But then you had Andrew with the Futuras early. Man, I don't want that shoe. <laughs> He hit me up the night before, he's like, oh, should I wear this, should I wear that? I'm like, bro, the Futuras. They'll be like the craziest thing on feet. And it could just be my opinion. I'm biased, I really like that shoe. But at the same time, everyone was chasing him around, like wanting photos of that shoe, so. But overall, what did I think of the event? I'm gonna say I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun, saw a lot of people that I know. And in that regard, it was great. The event was about 40 something dollars after fees. For 40 something dollars, I don't think the value was there. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I feel like it was like a 20, maybe $30 event. There wasn't that much to do outside of just, you know, buying shoes paying for the privilege to buy shoes. So it's almost like a tax on top if you look at it like that. That's a crazy way to kind of look at it. It was free monster, you know, that was fun. I don't really drink energy drinks, but I had like half for one because I thought that was the only thing in the building you could drink. Then I found the juice bar. Whoever was doing that juice bar, incredible. Probably saved the event, that watermelon joint, crazy. But for me, I felt like it might have been a little bit undercooked. I feel like they didn't really have a local team on the ground helping out. The promo wasn't necessarily there. There was a lot of people come through, but not as many vendors, right? For that space, it felt like it should have been that full spot. And they put that, you know, blocked out half they didn't get enough vendors but even if you looked at it from where say the stage was to the event 
could have fit so many more vendors in. Now, one thing that I noticed, there was no food there. The juice bar was good, but you needed food, bro. Like, you got food outside, that's cool. I don't remember, like, any, like, giveaways or whatever. I think I heard, like, maybe one on the stage. Other than that, like, someone was just playing music from their phone. And I know that because every now and again, you'd hear, like, a notification pop up or something. Which, and, like, outside of that, the only people that seemed to be from SneakerCon were two people at a merch desk and the merch sold out really quickly. They didn't have much merch. In terms of special guests, they had the two dudes cashing out. They ran out of money at a certain point and shout out my guy Rock. His missus was like the next in line and you know, but from what I heard, like they were paying peanuts. So I don't know. A low ball and everyone, but at the end of the day, like if you're willing to sell it to those guys, like that's on you, you've agreed on the deal. For me, I think eBay was meant to be there, that's what was advertised on the website. Now, whether that's a blanket statement across SneakerCon altogether, I'm not too sure. But if we compare it to say the kickstand event, which is a smaller community event, you got food trucks, you got raffles, you got lucky door prizes, giveaways, everything like that, right? If you look at, say, Sneakerland, that's, again, probably a similar type thing where it's a bigger company coming along to do it, but there was a bit more to keep people engaged in terms of your average consumer, like your average punter that goes, hey, this is cool, let's go look at sneakers, right? Maybe they're seeing some YouTube, maybe they're just want to do something different while they're in Darling Harbour. But for me, I just felt like there could have been a little bit more for the ticket price. Now, I got a, a you know, almost an hour worth of content out of this, so, and, you know, a bunch of other stuff that we'll probably do down the line. But I know a lot of people that rocked up, did a couple laps and left. That was it. So, I had fun. I know a lot of other people had fun. I moved a couple pairs, had some extra cash in the pocket. Might have went shopping after that. You'll have to see. But let me know in the comments, what did you think? Did you head to SneakerCon? Did I meet you at SneakerCon? Did you enjoy SneakerCon? Did you see any crazy purchases? Did you make any crazy purchases? Did you see anything crazy go down? I met an NBA player. Maybe that was a special guest. Nah, he was in town for Boomer's Camp, but yeah, special guests, and it was only really them two. And I'll be honest, like, they were saying they had millions of followers, but I never heard of them. And everyone I asked had never heard of them, so, you know, if they got millions of followers, they're doing better than this, but it is what it is. Like, say, I sound negative in what I'm saying, but I still had a great time. It was a great day out. I found a new parking spot that's real close to the city, all day parking, 25 bucks, which is crazy. And, you know, if it rolls around again, I think it'll be better and more prepared. They're not too sure what's going on over here if they haven't been here since 2019, right? I feel like the lead in time might have been a little forced, but I don't know. It just felt a little bit undercooked. That's all I'm saying. But this has been another episode of Crease Tea. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. We'll be back twice a week. Peace. I gotta say, it is cold as shit. And I'm walking past. I ain't been to Darling Harbour in years. We got like old people yoga. I wanna say, like, the last time I was here. We got locked out of our parking somewhere and we're fucking around on these fountains. About to meet up Betty's Burgers, the rest of the Stinkerheads Australia group. I don't know where that is. I'll be honest, I don't even know. Is this Vivid? Is this what Vivid is? It's gonna be a very long day. I just 
knelt down and now my knee hurts. <laughs> Getting old, so. Yo, is Ali Wong about to play this big outdoor shit? Like, what's this for? <laughs> 